Hello, Virgo, and welcome to Blunt Side G Tarot. My name is Robin, and Virgo, today we're going to do a reading about love. Let's do a general love reading. Let's talk about you and your love life, baby. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on. If nothing's been going on, let's see if something's coming down the chute. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's going on here, Virgo. Okay, what do we got? Give your relationship a chance, okay? Work on your partnership. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, let's see what's going on here. And Virgo, for those of you who are interested, I'm doing personal readings if you want one. The link is in the description box below. All right. What up with Virgo? We have the Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with, oh, definitely could be dealing with an Aries um, or just Aries Leo Sage. A lot of fire, a lot of passion here to start this reading off. So the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, the world. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. We got a card hidden here. Four of Wands. Okay. We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's a conflict here. Is it another card flip? Am I missing cards here, Virgo? What's, what's going on? All right. Two more here for Virgo. There's the star. Wish come true. Dream fulfillments. When you wish upon a star, your dreams will always come true. But there's a three of swords. There's definitely conflict between you and your person. Page of swords. So we've tapped into a Virgo collective who's in a relationship or um, involved with someone where there's a conflict here. Um, the Knight of Wands tells me that there's passion. Um, there's chemistry. There's fun. You guys have fun. You enjoy each other's energy. The Emperor also tells us, though, um, this is something serious. This is a person. This isn't something that you're playing around with. But this is also a person who's going to be set in their ways. So whatever the conflict is, it's going to have to take both people to be able to compromise and work together in order to get where you want to go. The Four of Wands represents twin flames if you're on that journey, soulmate energy if you're on that journey, but a soul contract. Two people who have a strong connection to each other. Like, look at all the fun that this reading has started out with. These people are having a great time. Um, so you have a lot of fun with this person. You guys enjoy each other's company, but there is a conflict. The world represents a new cycle, the completion of one, but... The, but um, the beginning of a new. So whether you're ending this and moving on or going to continue to work on this and moving forward is up to you. But I feel like that's a decision, Virgo, that you're currently facing with that world. Let's talk about the Nine of Swords and Five of Wands. What is this conflict? What do you want to say about this? What is going on? Nothing? You got nothing to say? You got nothing to say, baby. Come on, give us something. Tell us something. Nine of, five, Nine of Swords, Five of Wands here for Virgo. Whoa. That one really flew. Hold on. That was a nine of cups. The empress. Whoa. You could be married here. We have the emperor and the empress. We have the seven of pentacles. Oh, we have two cards that flew. We have the nine of cups. And we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Um, so you're wondering, I mean, this is clearly two. This is a power couple here, Virgo. Um, I'm taking it like this. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Stars. So that's dreams come true, wish fulfillment. I feel like you're trying to find a solution to this, trying to figure out how to progress forward, how to create balance. Uh, but there's clearly strife. There's clearly an issue. And the Seven of Pentacles is that energy of reflection, pulling yourself back to reflect on this. Where are you guys? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? Um, it's also that element of getting into that principle of appreciation. You know, when we appreciate, when we're going through difficult times with somebody, and we show our appreciation for the little things that we like about them or just the beautiful things about their character. Um, you know, it just allows us to get through the tough times a little bit better and allows us to better communicate and compromise. Um, and it just elevates our frequency just to make in that which allows us to see more solutions and obstacles to our challenges. I believe you have a decision to make here. There could be a feeling of lack of appreciation for some because both of these cards are about appreciation. So there could be an element of the feminine energy not feeling valued, not feeling appreciated. She's got something to say, so she better fucking say it. Um, so it's um, finding a solution. That's what the start is, is working together in order to climb that ladder and find that solution. But there's a guarded energy here with that seven of wands. What do you want to say about that seven of wands here for Virgo spirit guides? What I'm hearing while I'm shuffling is no excuses. So whatever's going on, the devil... Yeah, whatever's going on, you, Virgo, whoever's coming at you, whether you're the feminine or the masculine energy, you don't want excuses. I can tell you that much. That's what I'm hearing. Um, with the devil here, <laughs> there could be addictions. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. There could be just a lot of negative thinking, worry, spears. There could just be a lot of passion and lust and chemistry and obsession. Um, but I just feel like if you're going to solve this, 
You're not in the mood for fucking bullshit. It's like, come to me with the problem. Let's find a solution. But don't come to me with excuses or, you know, validating silly things. It's this is the situation. Let's just look at this objectively um, and come up with solutions. But I feel like this person might be making some excuses because that's what really came up strong when I was when I was shuffling there. Um, and I mean, there could be addictions, maybe someone smoking, talking, drinking too much or something. But either way, a conversation needs to be had. But what I do know is you, Virgo, are not in the mood for bullshit. So you don't want any excuses. You don't want any lies. You just want the truth and possible solutions to the obstacle. Um, I do feel um, that's what's going on. <laughs> so the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so the Six of Pentacles is that energy of not giving all the way. So this is going to have to be an equal give and take for you to be interested in continuing to move forward. There's a lot of learning here, but there's a lot of happiness too. Now the page of swords and the three of swords is, is learning, right? She's got a book. She's a very studious energy. There's the two people talking, chatting, trying to come up with solutions. So I feel like there's going to be after an element of compromise, but I also feel like you're pretty hurt here. Um, there's been some betrayal or lies or something that is not working in your favor and you don't appreciate. Um, and they're going to have to come and step up to the plate here, Virgo. Okay, so that's what we got. Let's grab some oracles. We'll see where you guys are in a month. We'll see how this progresses. Um, Spirit guys, what does Virgo need to surrender to? Okay. Your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Okay, okay. Caring connection here for Virgo and this person. Spirit guys, caring connection between the two of these. Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid is around. So you both have been pricked by Cupid. You know, you've both poked you both in the butt here. <laughs> I love this Cupid because it like really doesn't look like Cupid, but you know, we all know who it's supposed to be. All right, let's get the hidden truth. If they could say something that they're not saying, they want to say, they should say, maybe they shouldn't, but you need to know. Well, what is it? What is it here, buddy? What is it? We got a few. Finding out the truth crushed me. I can't stop thinking about you. I bury my work and myself, sorry, I bury myself in work to forget you. I wish I could take back my words. So maybe they said something very hurtful. And that's why we're in the Three of Swords energy. They might have gotten angry. And the Emperor, when he's angry, he can lash out. Okay. Let's get your potential outcome. When I say potential, there is always free will here, Virgo. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? How you doing? How things progressing? Do you have this conversation? Are you still in conflict? Are you guys just floating on cloud nine? Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? I can't see it, but a couple cards have flipped. So hold on. Yeah, we got some not a time. Got the Ace of Wands. What else we got? Uh-oh, we got the Seven of Swords. We'll see what that Seven of Swords means, what's on the other side of it. Where is that wolf looking? Where is he looking? We have the Nine of Wands. He's looking back. The Seven of Swords. Okay, sorry, the Six of Cups. Seven of Swords is looking at the Six of Cups. Then we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, one more... We have the Six of Pentacles, but this card, okay, and we have the Eight of Pentacles, okay, we have the High Priestess, uh-oh, what's under her, okay, the Two of Wands, um, I kind of feel like you still might be holding back a little bit here, Virgo, um, I feel like you're looking at the past, and I don't know if you're over it, um, it really comes down to principle of forgiveness and trust, right, can you trust this person, this combination of cards tells me that they may have betrayed you or said hurtful things or done hurt, hurtful things several times before, um, and I see you kind of looking back at that. It needs to be dealt with, right? You got to talk about it. You got to work through it. You got to forgive them for their shortcomings. Forgive yourself for your shortcomings in order to move forward. Because if you don't, it just creates resentment and boom, it explodes like a volcano. The Six of Pentacles tells me you're both working here. You're both all in. This deck, very different than the other decks. If we look at this deck, she's giving and they're giving back. Everybody's giving. It's an equal give and take. So your person here is willing to compromise. They're willing to work on this. They're trying. But I, and I see you trying, but I still see you mad, Virgo. Um, so, um, you know, it takes time to heal. It takes time to work through it. I do see this person trying to work through it and I see you trying to, but I also see you looking back and not fully over what happened. So give yourself a time to heal, but also be realistic and honest with yourself. Cause if you can't forgive, there's no trust. And if you can't trust, there's no relationship. So I see you working on it. I still see you holding back. I still see a little resentment here, but I see effort. And that's what matters is progress and effort. And I see you guys trying, but I don't actually see, um, it being completely resolved here and it's only a month out so it does take time to work through our obstacles and our challenges and to find forgiveness in our heart Virgo, that's what i got and that's where you are so if you like your reading if you like my style i do ask that you like comment subscribe helps my channel to grow thank you for the support virgo i appreciate it thank you and let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question baby so if the card comes up it's yes
If it's in reverse, it is no. So guys, what's the answer for Virgo? Yes or no? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, the Knight of Cups. That's what I got, Virgo. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.